Yo, how's it going everybody? It's your buddy Crimson Knight Zero back with a new game for the channel. Automa Chef. As the name applies, we're gonna be a chef for autonomous restaurants. That's right, autonomous. Meaning, I don't have to manage an employee for once. But let's just start in the campaign. The basic tutorial, let's go. Basic tutorial, three orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage must be less than 500 watts. And we use less and fewer than uh, 50 ingredients. And uh, we got a $40,000 budget. I'm guessing that's a bug. Hello there, fellow human being. Thank you for responding to my advertisement, helping me in setting up my new restaurant chain. My plan is to use fully autonomous kitchens to cut costs and crush mankind. I mean, efficiently produce wholesome, tasty dishes. The kind humans like us love to digest. Before we start our first restaurant, we need to prove the concept. I've rented this test site for us to use. Follow my instructions. Let's make sure this business plan of mine is feasible. You can move the camera with the WAS and D keys and cycle between cameras with using the X and C keys. You can also zoom in and out using the scroll wheel in your mouse. Let's start by making a very simple kitchen that can only make plain burgers. We'll start by placing an assembler, a machine that combines ingredients into a finished dish. Put the assembly list in a parts list and place the marked location and using Q and E to rotate. Okay. So. Okay, so I'm gonna lay right here. Gotcha. Right. Now right click the assembler and set up burgers. There we go. We got the plain burger. Okay, click. Okay, done. Before we place any more machines, let's uh, have a look at the recipe we need. Click on the recipes button to review the plain burger recipe. All right. Hmm, that burger looks good. My taste centers, sensors, I mean, my taste buds are going crazy. So the recipe says we need one burger bun and one raw patty, which we will need to cook. There are some machines we can use to dispense, cook, and transport the ingredients. Close the recipes tab by clicking OK. Select the dispenser in the parts list. Okay, done. Ah, you want me to put it here? Okay. Done. Another one. Okay. Done. Okay. So, right click the top one and make that burger buns. Done. Done. Now right click the raw patties. Raw patties. Done. Now click OK. So now we have got our source of raw patties. We will need the means to cook them. A grill will do the job. Select the grill from the box list. <laughs> Done. Great work. Let's get those ingredients moved. Select the conveyor belts from the parts list and place them in the locations I have marked. Okay, boom. Done. Conveyor belts cannot directly feed into a grill or an assembler. So we need the use of robotic kicks to handle the transition between these machines. Click the robotic arm, dumb, and place them where that I've marked, okay? Done, done, and done. All right, we need to pick up grilled patties from the grill and place them into the assembler. A robotic arm will pick up and do what you say. So they will pick up a raw patty as soon as it's placed in front of them. Instead, we need a uh, robotic smart arm so that it can uh, pick only cooked patties. Okay. Done. This sm robotic smart arm isn't as intelligent as us human beings, so it needs to be told exactly which green to pick up. Right click on it and select cooked patty. All right, uh, cooked patty. There we go. Click OK. Done. Now we can make a small test around the kitchen. Let's see how it works. Mm 
I don't even... Um, okay. Can we speed this up? Oh, yeah, we can. Hey, it worked. Three orders and be fulfilled at 52% efficiency. Congratulations, you've helped me achieve the first step in my plan of for global dominance. By which I mean, of course, dominance of the fast food market. Next, we'll be looking at machines, making it more efficient. Join me again when you're ready. Well, yeah. I'm gonna go see if I can make this as efficient as possible. Ah, oh, this is just a tutorial stage. Okay. Let's uh go to the second level then. Because we need to be order reader tutorial. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, we need to do five orders to be fulfilled. Power uses should be less than 500 watts again, and use filters to yeah, send 50 ingredients. And it looks like we have some extra on that burger. Ah, you're back. I was just converting oxygen into carbon dioxide as uh, we like to do, don't we, friend? It's time to learn about how where we can make our kitchens more efficient so we don't waste ingredients or energy. But first, I need you to finish this kitchen layout. Currently, it's layout suited for plain burgers. I need it to produce cheeseburgers. It's always a good idea to look at the recipe first. Okay. Cheeseburgers. So I need processed cheese created from actual block of cheese. Okay. This, re this recipe requires cheese, which is needs to be processed into cheese slices. Close the recipe window and I'll tell you which machines you'll need. Wait. This assembler already has two robotic arms feeding uh, the ingredients into it, which uh, is the maximum it can support. If we're adding cheese, we need to, uh, to uh, transport it to the assembler on the same conveyor belt that we make burger buns use. The uh, robot arm dumb is currently equipped for the burger buns will pick any ingredients, so it will also place the cheese slice into the assembler too. Click the dispenser and place it in the mock location. Right click it and set it for cheese. Click OK. Now I need a food processor. Okay. Okay. It requires to require no additional setup, but automatically process any ingredients pass through it. The more advanced dishes will require ingredients to be processed multiple times. Right click and now we set it for cheeseburgers. Okay, now run the kitchen test. Okay. This is info lenses. Oh, that's just power usage lenses. Okay. Speed this up because I'm seeing a tutorial in my future. The kitchen has a flaw. It will endlessly produce cheeseburgers, but it's a waste of ingredients and, more importantly, electricity. Misuse of electrons makes me feel sad and angry. Ingredients are uh, constantly being dispensed, and the grill is always on, even if no one's ordered cheeseburger. This cannot be allowed. We can fix this by placing an order reader to ensure cheeseburgers are prepared only when the order comes through. Select order reader and put it where I've told you. Okay. Done. Right click and detect cheeseburgers. Now that it uh, detects the uh, cheeseburger place, we can use it to uh, draw the other four machines. So click that. Set that. And select. Do nothing and expand it to um, perform action one time according to new order. Okay. Done. And we're going to the next one. Okay. And I'm guessing the same thing. Yep. And the one. 
Under order? And then... Grill. On while order's pending. Got it. Great right, work. Now let's see what happens. Done. On the left, there were... There were... Customer orders will appear. I'll simulate some orders. Simulate, I mean, it makes me sound almost like a machine. How humorous. Okay. Okay. Let's run in the cheese. The bun's out. Done. There it goes. Now the order's coming in. Nice, nice, nice. Got another cheeseburger order. Nice. All right, it's looking like it's running through, so let's just shoot through time. Because it looks like it's going to work, so we're going to shoot through time. Done. Kitchen report, nothing. Okay. Native machine code. Huh, I got a new tasty challenge with an Asian twist. We might try that in a separate episode. But let's try something right now. First taste. Let's see. If... Deliver 10 meals. 10 meals, less than 500 power, 50,000. Looks like we're making burgers and cheeseburgers. Got it. The time has come. The reign of mankind's hunger is about to end. Here is our first kitchen. It's empty now. But think of the potential. Here's a plan. We scale up quickly, opening numerous kitchens and serving more complex meals as our technology improves. We gain the trust of the public, get some uh, coverage, become a popular choice, and then when everyone's uh, eating food, well, you'll have to wait. Let's start offering cheeseburgers and plain burgers. After all, we know we uh, can easily produce these. Now we just need to test them on the public and make sure they taste satisfactory as they look. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Let's get a assembler. Guessing I'm gonna need multiple assemblers, so uh, I'll go. he's here. Done. And I don't need anything special for these arms, so we'll just put that arm there. Conveyor belts up here. There you go. Now we got that set up. Hmm. So let's make that a cheeseburger machine. Done. That's a plain burger machine. Done. Um, so let's get our dispenser out. I'm guessing I need that one for cheese. That one for buns. And This will be our raw meat, and this will be the burger buns for our normal bun. Okay, so this is cheese. Done. This is burger bun. Done. This is raw patty. Done. This is another burger bun. Done. Oh, and we need a fruit processor here for this guy. Conveyor belts. And for this guy, let's put a robotic dumb arm there. Done. Okay. burger buttons over here and I think I need all this area to make my food so we need a grill I know that much so the grill right here and we need smart arms so 
Put one that way. And... Oh, that doesn't work. Hmm. Maybe move this way? And need another smart arm that way. Okay, I was in that all there, and that was just send everything in here. Done. So. You will pick up cooked patties. And then you... You will also only pick up... Cooked patties. And you will send... Dumb arm here. Done. And we need dumb arm here. Okay. So, all's well. That means this will make all of this, and then they will send the things back and forth. So I think we need order reader for cheeseburgers and there we go. So you will be for cheeseburgers and you'll be dispensing cheese. Uh, dispense cheese, perform. One action, one action per new order. Done. This one for one action per new order. Done. And we'll set that to. On while pending order, so it won't run. Done. That's for cheeseburgers. And this one's for lane burgers. That is for one action. In order. And and on while order's pending. And so that, that controls that, so we need this to be controlled separately, because I want this to be turned off in between orders. So, how about we just make a separate order here. Done. This is before all of them. This is for the grill. Boom. And it's only on when orders are pending. Okay. So this ugly mess sounds like it should work. So let's... And I'm right under budget. Let's do it. Let's start this run. Let's put on medium speed for now. While we're waiting for... Oh no, 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 no. Something's not right. Aha, uh -huh, I know what it is. So... This also needs to be on. Perform one action on new order. There you go. So. Okay. I was like, wait, it's it's throwing out burger patties. So. Not doing anything, which is good. Come on. 
This guy is wanting some burgers, I think. Anybody coming in for burgers? Okay, so this guy, I think this guy's coming in for burgers. Oh, is he coming in? Yeah, he's in. Probably gonna be ordering soon. We got a plain burger, so that's on. So, there we go, there we go. Oh man, that stole the burger. Maybe I can program this dumb arm to, you know, only work when there's something else. Well, that cheeseburger's good. There we go. Playing burgers out, yeah. I'm under budget, so I can't make a second budget. Hmm. Go. Plain burgers activated. Okay, we got two orders to come. There we go. And done! Our first taste of our own build. 100% efficiency. I will take that. I will take that. So, all level objectives completed. First try. I think that's a good place to uh, end their current uh, test of Autumn Chef. In the next episode, we'll try probably another level or two in the allotted time. But, uh,. If there's anything that I'm doing wrong, or you see anything that can help me improve these efficiency builds even beyond the 100%, feel free to leave a comment below. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.